Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your Azure AD B2C users and perform some actions against the user or invite the user and so many things using the Graph API. And it is very easy. Come, let's get started. On my screen, once you log into the Azure portal, you need to switch to the directory to which the AD B2C is being set up. As you know, the previous video I've already demonstrated how Azure AD B2C setup has been done for the domain learn smart coding dot on Microsoft.com. Now I've switched to this and on the home page you can see Azure AD B2C. Here you have app registration and all the other stuff. So today we are going to concentrate on the Graph API. So what is Graph API? Basically, Graph API is an SDK provided by the Microsoft to access and do some actions against the Azure AD B2C objects, which is nothing but the users. So you can invite users, you can update the user's password, you can you can do so many things. You can see who are the users available in that Azure AD B2C tenant and, and you know, you can see everything. Now, it's really easy. Uh, all what you have to do is go to the GitHub repository and there is something called Azure Query Graph API. And if you download this project, all what you have to do is you have to go to this app settings and do some replacement here. And we will see this shortly, what replacement you have to do. So first thing first, let's go to app registration. Now what we have to do is, in the previous video, I showed you, we have restaurant table booking app API application and then restaurant table booking apps application that we registered. So we need to provide access to this new app registration that we are gonna do and then that will take care of accessing the objects within the Azure AD B2C. All right, go to the app registration, click on new registration, and then here you can provide a name, a meaningful name. So we're going to play with the Graph API, so Graph API, okay, this is only for my understanding. And then be careful here, we have to choose that the account in this organization that play only, you should not choose any of the other two. It's just a single tenant because you're not exposing this to anyone else outside. You can leave the redirect URL empty, uncheck this grant admin concern, and then do a register. Once you register, as usual, an application registration will have the client ID here. And this is the client ID that you need to copy. And you need to replace the client ID in the app ID. You need to replace it here. Okay, so the one part is done. Now we need the tenant ID on the client secret. Tenant ID, like I said, the directory that you're logged in and you're doing, that is the tenant ID. In our case, this is learn smart coding dot on microsoft.com so how do i know that if you come here and click on endpoint you see this this is the tenant id so this one and this name should be almost not almost it will be same the second part is called the tenant id but that belongs to on microsoft.com okay so that's the active directory that we have um, created so that's the tenant id so we know two part the only left out piece is the client secret now what we do come here and click on new client secret provide how long this has to be valid probably you go with the minimum six month that's the recommended do not go more than that or below that that's just a recommendation later you can change into new secret by creating a new secret okay so that's called key rotation so let me choose this and give secret um app access just a name okay so add it and remember First time alone, it will show you the value. Once you copy and go out, it is done. It cannot do anything else. So I'm gonna copy this and uh, okay. So the next thing is, so you copied the client ID, we copied the secret. The next thing that we have to do is API permission. Click on API permission. Now we are saying this Graph API needs access to the Microsoft Graph, right? I mean, this application needs access to the Microsoft Graph. So here, the three things, you need to choose the Microsoft API, click on it and say application permission. And these are the N number of things that you can give permission. But for us to have this demo, we just need to provide permission for the directory, directory to read. Okay, so they click on this and then if you expand, just provide access to these two and then say add permission. Once you're done with that, see these two called ESS came and uh, the other thing that you have to do is that's it you just need to refresh it you got these two no taxes granted so click on the grant admin access click 
see everything is granted now so good everything has been added for the directory user read also is added so we can read users see sign in and read user profile so we have these two uh, and then what you have to do is if you are doing by yourself generally speaking you will be the global administrator so if you come out and click on role and administrator okay remember this generally speaking after the step you will not have access uh, but if you are the owner of the the login that you have done like for example portal.ashi.com you logged in right if you are the admin you are the login you are the only one you will generally be the global administrator for global administrator by default you are a user administrator so you have full access but generally speaking if someone is adding you as a user or so and so if you're under a company's uh, profile you will not be having such role in that case you come to the role and administrator search for user administrator so user ad administrator if you search there will be a role here click on this and see right now you can assign uh, uh, you can click on add assignment and then here you can choose the application so the one that we are going to do is this one right graph api demo for restaurant table booking app. so you click on this add and then it is successfully added and that's it so far we're good everything has been granted now all what you have to do is to run the application so i'm going to run the application i've just copy pasted those things and i'll bring up the demo here it is almost same we have seen a similar video but uh, this is called client credential flow we are using a client id and the client secret this is called client credential flow we also saw recently another video where it is based on device code login so device code login is basically uh, you will not have the client secret you will have the uh, you know the login prompted and then the code will be sent to your mobile you just need to accept the code that's how it works but if you look at this this one is like pretty easy once we're done with everything it is going to fetch all the users i have so many users great now i can do so many operations here i can say okay so i can do so many options i can i can i can query by object id i can do some delete of a user i can update an user i can do so many things because we have seen this video already we don't need to uh, invest too much of time here basically in this whole thing all what you have to do is you need to know how this works okay so basically this is the program this is how it works you just need to uh, you know create the client the graph client the graph service client using the auth provider and once you have that you can actually do so many things so if you go to user servers right you can use that object and say users and then price request you can fetch what you want you can do all these things on all these codes are all available by microsoft we 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 have not invented anything they have given themselves all these sample codes they are all a part of the sdk sample code so our focus is to just go go over this read it but the main thing that you need to do which they don't show us the app registration and how you provide the permissions and this is what the graph api is all about and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up and provide your comments and i will see you in the next interesting video thank you thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding